I would like for everybody to stand up. All right. First, we're going to start by playing Simon Says. All right. Simon Says, jump. Simon Says, hop on one foot. Simon Says, spin around. Simon Says, clap your hands. Simon Says, freeze. Simon Says, sit down. Okay. The reason why I had you participate in Simon Says is because just like Simon tells you to do things, so do warning signs and labels. Does anyone know what a warning sign or label is? Yes. A warning sign is, tell you, is telling you like what is bad, like what is bad about your product or something else. Exactly. Okay. So, we're going to go over this PowerPoint and then we're going to play a game together. So let's start. The first one, does anyone know what this is? A uh, word when the floor is wet. Exactly, that's a wet floor sign, and that means that someone has spilled a liquid or has mopped the floor. So what should you do if you see a wet floor sign? Be careful. Be careful, okay. Uh, that's where they were more like. Alright, what about this sign? Anyone know, like, seen these before? Like something bad is around there. Mm -hmm. That's a danger sign, and that means something harmful or is nearby, or you could see it on a bottle, and that means that the liquid could be harmful or dangerous. All right. This is something that you might not see too often. It's called a biohazard sign. A lot of times you see this on bottles as well, and this means there's a dangerous chemical that could cause you to get sick, and only professionally trained people should use this material. So you need to stay away from biohazards, okay? Have you seen this line before? Yes. <laughs> yes. What does that mean? It means something that like, could catch fire. Exactly. It's flammable. It could catch on fire. What are these in this picture? For medicines. For medicine. And on medicine bottles, you have prescription labels, and those are also warning labels that tell you what's inside the bottle, who it's for, and that is the only person that's allowed to take that medicine. What would happen if you took someone else's medicine? You might get sick. You might get sick, exactly. These are different types of animal signs, and they have animal signs for every kind of animal. And why do you think you might see an animal sign? crossing the road or they could be there could be a dangerous animal around like an alligator in the water or sharks in the water that you want to be cautious of this means hot surface why would you need to know if there's a hot surface they don't get burned don't get burned because sometimes if it's a stove you might not know that it's hot so they put a label so that you're aware This is a toxic sign, and some people get the toxics and the biohazards confused, and they're kind of similar. This means that it's poisonous, and poisonous means it can cause death or illness if you drink or eat it. It is important that you stay away from things with this label. Only adults can use these things very carefully. An example of a toxic um, product would be cleaning supplies like bleach or fabuloso, all those good smelling stuff. And this one is electrical hazard, and these are two different ways you might see the sign. This is something you normally see like around construction, um, if there's loose power lines, and if uh, a person comes in contact with it, it can hurt them very badly. Alright, last one. Have you ever seen this sign? We don't really see these signs in here in Florida where we live. We see them up north where there's mountains, and it just means that rocks can fall, that loose rocks can fall when you're walking or driving your car. So you want to be very careful if you see these signs because rocks could fall on you. All right. Can anyone else tell me something that maybe when you're in school you have a drill and it warns you of something? Fire drill. Fire drill. That's another way to be warned about dangerous um, things that could happen. 
So today we're going to practice these signs. I have a matching game for you guys to play. And you're going to put them upside down and then pick one, each of you picks two. And then you want to match the sign with the label. So danger, danger. Okay? you guys play and if you need any help I'll assist you okay okay make sure you let her see so she knows where it's at too <laughs> So does anyone have any questions about the signs that you learned about? No? Okay, are you ready for the um, worksheets? Yes. All right. Here's a worksheet for each of you. Read the directions carefully. You're going to draw lines from the words to the pictures. I'm going to get you. you learn in class today? Um, the warning signs. Warning signs? I learned about warning signs and labels. Okay, and you? I learned, I learned about learning signs, labels, and how to be aware of them. Thank you. Okay, and um, can anyone tell me, explain what a warning sign is, a warning label is used for? It's to tell you, like, danger or something, like, or something that you could get hurt. Mm -hmm. I didn't you had. Exactly. Um, predict what would happen if we did not have warning signs and labels. We would get hurt. We would get hurt a lot. We could get sick. We would get sick. <laughs> and can you compare and contrast what a warning sign and a street sign, the difference and the similarities? Um, the street signs are for like when people are walking across the street and the warning labels are like for hot surfaces and prescriptions. The, the signs are like on roads and in stores, but the labels are on things. Okay, and there's also warning signs. So what's they they both do what though? Help. Warn you. Warn and help you and tell you what to do and not to do, right? Okay, thank you. That's it.